Hey everyone, it's Leanne. Welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. Today is a very rainy Saturday at my house. And I'm actually, I don't want to leave the house. I don't feel like leaving the house today, but uh, I do have plans to go see the Barbie movie with my mom and my youngest sister. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, I was going to share with you some art that I did recently. I used this um, art creation sketchbook from Royal Talents. And sometimes I just do random sketches in here that aren't wet media. It doesn't hold wet media very good. But I recently drew this succulent drawing and I used pencil crayon to do this or colored pencil. I just came up with this idea randomly and decided to draw this and I thought it would just be like a couple hour sketch. This took me a week to finish and I started playing like a video game and I was doing it in between matches. I was coloring a little bit and then the sun went down and I lost my light. Uh, and then I had to wait until the next day and then I just picked it up a little bit each night uh, doing another petal. It was really repetitive and it's a succulent by the way if it doesn't look like one. <laughs> but I had a lot of fun doing the blending. I used to do a lot of colored pencil uh, drawings like this when I was first starting out in art and trying to find my way. And so yeah I had a lot of fun with this but I'm glad it's done because it took forever. Today I'm working on something a little bit different. I had this idea of this chicken and I got this idea, I, this is silly, but I got this idea came to me watching Wheel of Fortune and I don't know why it was something, I think the puzzle was something about a chicken or something and born to be wild and I just had this idea to put a chicken in a leather jacket with aviators and some sort of phrase with him. I haven't figured out what the phrase is going to be. I want to make this into a sticker, um, but... I, it's just so random and <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this but I decided to sketch this out on my iPad first and then transfer it to paper. I want to do this in gouache and I thought, you know, I was watching another um, art video this week and the girl mentioned how she does her sketches on her iPad first and I thought that makes a lot of sense. I like to sketch with pencil but, you know, it's hard to get proportions right all the time on your paper and so I thought if I sketched it out here and then printed it and I could transfer it then to my paper and make sure it fits perfectly. So what I did is I transferred this to my computer and then I sized it out onto a sheet of paper that matches the size, um, but in Illustrator. So I could make the proportions perfect. So once I had it, um, I sized my paper at six by eight. I'm using just um, uh, Strathmore mixed media paper. And so I sized my chicken the way I wanted it. I off centered him a little bit, put him to the left or sorry, to the right and printed off a copy. And then behind it, I just took some graphite and rubbed, um, with my pencil. I have like a two H B. I think this is two B. I mean, and transferred him with my stylus that I have. I just, it's got a pointy end. So I just traced along the lines. And so now I have my chicken, uh, transferred onto this paper. So I think I'm going to try painting him in gouache. I wanted to do like kind of a fun animal. I didn't want it to just be a bird. I wanted to do something fun with it and put it in some sort of clothing or something. So yeah, I'm excited about this, but I'm nervous because I don't normally paint things like this and it's kind of uh, surrealism too, I guess, or unrealistic really. Uh, so it's not like I'm just painting from reference. I kind of had to take a few reference photos and put this together. I put a little uh, worm in his pocket too. I feel like the worm could be a sidekick or something. So yeah, this is what I'm working on today. So yeah, I'll update you in a little bit and we'll see how I get along, how it ends up going. By the way, I got a new cabinet for my art room. Uh, this is where I keep all of my art supplies and I don't really have a lot right now. And I think there's probably some downstairs that I haven't brought up yet, but um, I just have a few shelves in here for all my art supplies, which is really nice. And then the cabinet that I have um, in the closet, I'm going to use that for storage for uh, supplies for my store and my sister and I have a store as well that we make uh, t-shirts and stuff So I'm going to keep the stuff in there, but yeah, what do you think? It looks nice. Eh? I'm really excited about this uh, And it fits well in the space. It's not too big, but it adds a little bit of style and yeah And it gives me some storage where I can hide some things. Here's an update on how my chicken's going I've got like the head done and I'm pretty satisfied with how it's looking I have to say I was really nervous doing the head because it, it, gouache is weird. I mean, I'm not I, I, I'm not used to it. So I was trying to blend colors 
And up until this point, I had this preconceived notion that if you wanted to blend colors, you needed to put them down together and blend them together wet on the paper to get the blend. Because once gouache dries, then you keep layering on top of that. But what I discovered is actually that I was able to put some blends in the red where I was able to soften them after it was dry. So I was able to put this base coat of this medium red and then I put these red, these darker bits. Uh, some of them I left more of a harsh edge, but if you look like in the background, you can see that there's more gradients in there. And what happened was I took a, a very dry brush, like it was damp, but it wasn't wet. And it reactivated the base layer and blended together. And I was able to do that after the fact. So that was kind of a revelation in my process. I've got some white on here and just the way the window is there, you can see it better. It's creating this glare and I don't know why because it's not a metallic white. It's literally just this primary white. So I don't know why it's shiny and it's gouache. It's not watercolor. So I don't know why it's not opaque and it's creating like, you can see I put very prominent highlights, but then when you do that, that's actually how it looks. It's just the windows reflecting. So that part was a little bit weird, but I'm happy how it turned out, so I'm gonna keep going. I think he looks really cute. Um, yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with the details too, as you can see, I've got, I've probably overworked the red part of the comb a little bit, but I had fun. So, I mean, that's the main thing and I learned something. So that's, that's a really big thing. Right now I'm blocking out the leather jacket and I was thinking about this as I was painting the red, getting ready to paint the jacket. And I was thinking about how when I did the mid-tones, it was harder for me to add highlights in the red here because it was already dark, like the base was dark. And I know that if you paint over the paper, then it's hard to get a clean, bright color on top of that because you have to paint over the color you painted plus the new color. And if it's lighter, it looks a little muddy. So my technique or my process for the leather jacket is to put the highlights down first and then I'm gonna do the mid-tones next and then I'm gonna do the dark at the end. I love doing the shadows, but I like that base layer. And coming in with highlights at the end is really hard because, I mean, and maybe I don't have the right white. Maybe I should get like a, um, a titanium white, but at the time that I ordered that one, that was the only one Amazon had. It's so hard to get Holbein gouache where I live in Canada. So, um, or like, I mean, if I'm ordering from an art store, I need to put in a big order to get free shipping and it's a little bit crazy. So I think I will do a Jackson's order there's a few things I need on there, so I'll probably do one like after my birthday that's coming up in a couple weeks. But, um, and I'll order a titanium. But as far as the leather jacket goes, I've just been going through and adding the highlights first. And it's kind of hard to think about when there's no color down, thinking about where the highlights might be. And I know leather jackets have a lot of folds and creases. And so this chicken, at least, his leather jacket does. And uh, I've been working on... Uh, just putting where I think the highlights are and so in my Iridori Set here. I've been using this gouache set. So I'm I use geisha blue as my highlight color and Then I might come in with hummingbird blue, but something like a mix because I think this one's just too saturated Maybe like a blend of these two colors maybe with a touch of peony dropped in just to make it a little bit more uh, yummy of a blue and then I'm gonna come in with this as my like darkest colors, shadow colors, but I'll probably add a little bit more to this, maybe like some of the russet brown, the patina, maybe just a, to darken this blue to make it a little bit darker, but a blend of the hummingbird and the blue black, I think is gonna be my uh, leather jacket color. But anyways, I'm happy with how it's coming along and I'm you can see my desk is a little bit of a mess. I've got some reference material up here and I've been using uh, this is the drawing I did that I traced. Of course you saw that. So I've been hanging this up here as reference too when I don't have my, my iPad on just to have that for, uh, to look at just in case I cover up any line work. That's always my worst fear is covering up the line work and then having to paint over it. But yeah, I've got my palette and it's really nice to be able to reactivate the paint. Not like when I use acrylic wash and I have to use it quickly or it dries. So I've been really yeah, enjoying my afternoon. So I'll keep you updated, but I'm gonna work on this little chicken a little bit more and we'll see how it goes. One of the other things I didn't mention, but I like I don't have a lot of gouache because I'm just kind of getting started, but I have this uh, Holbein set, that's the winter set, but it has this gold in it. 
I have to fix this paint tube. It's facing the wrong way and my OCD is just like, what? Okay, sorry, back to what I was talking about. So I have this um, gouache paint in here, this whole line, and it's like a gold metallic. So I've been using that for the details on the chicken, like on his glasses. And I'm gonna use it on the denim jacket as well, just kind of like on the buttons, the buckles, anything that's like metallic. In my reference photo, they're silver, but I think the gold will tie them together nicely. And I don't, I don't have silver. I actually do have a silver fine tech, but I want to stick to gouache. So yeah, it's been fun to use that as well. And I'm trying to utilize as many colors as I can. What I do have, and if you noticed in my other video, I think I did like an unboxing or something for this, uh, like a haul. And I got this at the art store in Kelowna when I was there at West with my sister. And um, I thought that this was gouache and then I got home and it wasn't until I was editing the thumbnail of that video that I realized it said watercolor. And I was like, oh my gosh. At that point, I had already painted a picture with it and it actually worked. But in my research, and I mean, most people probably know this who use watercolor or gouache, that uh, gouache is just opaque watercolor, of course. So it did work. So what I've been doing is I have that set of 12 and I've been using this for the colors that I don't have in the winter set because the winter's missing a yellow, which is pretty primary. I mean, that's a primary color and uh, I've needed that quite a bit. I've been using the orange. Um, yeah. And this yellow ochre, I actually really love yellow ochre lately for some reason. I used to hate that color, like hated it. And to the point where I would not put it in my palette, I would not buy pencil crayons that were yellow ochre, nothing. And then as I've matured in my art process, I've welcomed it back. So I'm happy to have that. But Anyways, I'm trying to use as much as I can, but anything I'm stuck for, I use my watercolors. And I mean, honestly, I have a lot of core paints and I have Winsor Newton and a lot of other watercolors that I could probably uh, use as well on this if I needed to, if I found a color that I needed that I was missing. Anyways, so I, anyways, I'm gonna get back to my chicken. progress on my chicken. I had to stop. Uh, my mom and sister came over, so we went for a walk quickly. Um, but I'm working on the leather jacket, and it's more blue than I had anticipated, but I think I kind of like it. I kind of like the contrast, so I may leave it. I might come in with a few more darks just to darken up some areas a bit, but probably not much. I kind of like how it looks. Yeah, and I still need to do the little worm in his pocket. I've got the base color down for that, but I need to do the details still. Today's Monday, I finished my chicken. And I just finished work and I finished the last part of my chicken doing the legs, doing the little buckles and details on his coat, and also the feathers sticking out of the bottom of the coat and some light touch-ups. I'm thinking about the background. I'm gonna use acrylic gouache just because I'll probably do like a flat color. I was thinking between these two colors here, I have pale lavender and pale lilac, and I'm gonna tape it off with some washi tape to make a border as well. Although his feet are kind of close to the ground, so I'm gonna to have to be very careful. Uh, this is a thinner washi tape, so I should be able to put it right at the edge and still get a little bit of a, a grounding for his feet. I did some mock-ups in Photoshop just to see what background I like better. This one is the pale lavender, and this one's the pale lilac. I think I like the pink better, it just, makes everything pop a little bit more. It doesn't feel so recessed. Uh, so I'm gonna go with this color and paint the background up. I have my background all painted and I'm ready for the tape peel. And I'm so excited because I think this looks really good. I'm really happy I went with this color, uh, the pale lilac. So let's peel the tape, yay. Oh, I think this one goes over that one. Oh, 
Ooh, that looks so good. I love this color of the background. It just makes the rooster pop and I love the little gold details uh, from that gold, from that gold gouache. It looks so good. So I'm gonna make this into a sticker. I may make a print too. This actually looks pretty good for a print. Um, I haven't done many prints, but maybe I will do that. Um, but I do wanna make a sticker with this guy and I'm going to put can't be caged as his little tagline on his sticker. Oh, this is so cute. I'm so excited. What do you think? Let me know what you think in the comments. Yeah, I think this turned out so good. I'm so excited with how it looks and I love the pink background. And I think I love the colors of the jacket with the pink background too. I think it looks super, super good. Um, I'm really happy I used the acrylic gouache. I don't really have any um, like pastel colors in gouache that I could use for the background, but uh, I think the, the acrylic gouache worked good because it's only going to keep it um, like solid anyways. I wasn't going to do anything fancy with that. And it's permanent, so just a little bit more protected. It feels a little bit better. But yeah, I'm happy with how it turned out. It's pretty cute. I don't know if I mentioned in my last video, but I did add these stickers to my shop uh, from this gouache painting that I did. And it, it's just this little bird and it says, just in my happy place. Um, so yeah, you can find these at leanlandart.com. I'll put a link in the description below, but um, all these stickers come with free shipping and orders over $10 get a free gift too. So, uh, and I really appreciate the support. So if you're interested or have been thinking about getting some stickers, you can find them there. And I have a few other items um, that I'm adding to, and I have some more stickers that I'm working on that I wanna make. Hopefully I can get them up within the next week or so. I'm so excited because I found my Lamy pen that I lost. It wasn't really lost. I put it somewhere that I didn't, I don't normally keep my Lamy's, uh, but I cleaned it out. I haven't cleaned out the converter yet. It's still got some ink in there, but um, I did soak this and I use um, waterproof ink. And so I'm always hesitant and it makes me nervous that when I leave ink in it for a very long time, that it's never gonna come clean again. But I just soak it with some dish soap and warm water and I actually need to get a little brush or something to scrub it with. I don't really do that right now, but it normally comes pretty clean. So I'm so happy I found this one because I was really upset that I had lost it. Also, right now it's AV in August. Is anyone participating? I got my sketchbook out and my pencil and I really meant to sketch on the first day of August and I picked a bird picture and then after work I was just so tired and I couldn't do it. I didn't have the energy to draw. And I think it's because I haven't done watercolor in a little while. And so I'm kind of nervous about, I don't know, painting with watercolor. This is the last thing I did. And I did this July 13th. So it's been almost a month. I'm really nervous to, to I don't know why. Like I do watercolor all the time. I don't know why, but I've really been enjoying exploring other mediums. And I think it's maybe that I'm just in an art funk or something. Uh, but using other mediums has really kind of sparked my creativity, but the thought of going back to watercolor is just cringing. Like, I, I don't know, it's gripping. It's, I, I can't, I can't get past it. So now we're August 3rd today, and I'm going to try to catch up on my birds tonight, but hopefully I'm not too tired. Uh, my mom and I went for a long walk yesterday, and I got a lot of energy from that walk, so I'm hoping that it might help me get back to my birds. But I would like to do AB in August. Let me know in the comments if you're doing it. I did it uh, for the last two years and I really enjoyed it. I love painting all the different birds. And this year there's a focus on um, birds that are near extinction, I believe, or on the endangered species list. Um, yeah, so anyways, I'm gonna end this uh, video here. It's just kind of random. I did do the painting. I wanted to share the rooster painting. And yeah, as I mentioned, I'm kind of in this like kind of art funk that's in between what I normally do. So. I'm kind of struggling it, but I, I am doing things, but it's just out, like outside of my routine, outside of the norm. I did ask for some art supplies for my birthday. My birthday's coming up on Tuesday, so we'll see what happens, or I might go to my local art store this weekend. I was thinking about making my own sketchbook too, because even though I have this Etcher sketchbook, the hardcover and just the like weight and bulkiness of this is very intimidating. And I thought something that was more like the Strathmore watercolor journals where they're just soft cover and about this size, but they're just lightweight and um, easy to jump into, especially for Avian August. Like maybe this is my problem. Maybe it's not the watercolor. 
I don't know, but keep an eye. You can follow me on threads. I've moved over there from Twitter because Twitter doesn't exist anymore and it's kind of a, a wasteland at this point. So you can find me on threads. I'm at Leanne Land Art, of course, and on Instagram, I'll post some art as I do it and you can kind of keep track as I go along and hopefully I get back to AV in August. Or I've thought about maybe even just doing one bird a week, like low, you know, commitment, but knowing me, it'll be all or nothing. So we'll see how it goes. Anyways, um, yeah, let me know if you're doing AV in August or any other challenges this month too. And what you're painting with, are you doing something different? Are you using different mediums? Or are you just kind of chugging along and happy with uh, your, your normal, you know, whatever you usually use? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching.